This is Will Lindsay Otto, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the incredible actress, singer, musician, Sophie Smith Brody. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at Sophie's incredible talent. Sophie, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Will? Sophie, doing so much better now that we are finally meeting. And I love the <laughs> fact that you went to high school, literally right down the block from where my husband and, and I live. And you went to the acclaimed LaGuardia High School for the Performing Arts. I sure did. I was a vocal major. Um, I had wanted to go there since I was little because my mom went there as well. For She was a drama major back in God knows when. <laughs> I love it. So you're like carrying the baton. Absolutely. Um, it was such a such an incredible experience going there and I don't think I would have known that I wanted to pursue theater and acting in the way that I did after having gone. It was always something that was a passion of mine but I didn't understand. Definitely wouldn't have gone to college for it um, and it really opened, opened a whole new world for me. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, if you can do LaGuardia High School, which is one of the yeah. most intense programs for yeah. any high school performing arts um, in the United States, I think that once you graduate there and you can like get through that, you really know that this is what you want to do. And I love that you came out of it knowing that because you are so incredibly talented. And also, you are so young and my dogs are barking. They love meeting you. <laughs> You've done so many amazing roles already. Are there any, are there, give me your top three roles that you've performed thus far. And then bonus question. I want to know a role that you cannot wait to play one day. Okay. Um, what a question. <laughs> what have, I think one of my favorite experiences in, in a show was actually in an opera in high school. Um, it was my senior year um, at LaGuardia. And I was Mabel in Pirates of Penzance, which, you know, the last thing that I ever would have thought that I would be doing at that time. I didn't go into high school with any classical or really any voice training at all, and then went into this intense vocal program um, and ended up there. And it was the biggest shock of my life. Um, and goodness, I, I'm so, so, so forever grateful for it. And especially going to a school like LaGuardia with a theater that's bigger than, than many Broadway theaters even. It was an experience that made me know that it was something that I always wanted to do. Being on that stage and not having a, like a second of, of feeling nervous or anything and just feeling, you know, if anything more comfortable than anything else. Um, doing this, this crazy role and these crazy cadenzas. And, you know, that, that was a very, very uh, solidifying and heartwarming experience. Um, and then the total opposite end of roles. Um, right after that, um, I went to Frenchwood's Festival of Performing, Performing Arts. Um, it's a Performing Arts summer camp. Um, and my last summer there, I was there for nine weeks. I did four different shows. Um, and the one show that changed, totally changed my life and my perspective on performing was All My Sons. Um, 
it was, I think, one of the first. And you played Kate. Guess, yes, as as a seventeen year old, <laughs> you know, um, I had I had done one play before that, and it was Macbeth, and I was fourteen. You know, <laughs> that, that that was a whole as other. One does. As one does, you know, but um, I got cast in this play. I had. I was very excited. I didn't know what the heck I was in for. Um, and up until that point, even going to LaGuardia for being a vocal major and then going through college auditions for musical theater programs, I very much considered myself a singer first um, because I had this, I had this training and um, it was what I, I had, I could do a bunch of different things. I could do soprano, I could belt, and I felt that that was um, what could get me by. Um, and I relied on that. And especially in my college auditions, now looking back, I wish that I had not, you know, thought of my monologues as like a, okay, like I get, I have to, I have to do those, you know, um, because I, I didn't have the, the confidence in myself as an actor that I did, that I did as a singer. Um, and I wanted to, but it just, it, it wasn't there. And after doing that play, um, I I realized what I already knew, but realized that I had the potential to do it. There and it is. Acting, acting and you made, is and you made the choice. Acting is yeah. everywhere. And you probably were already acting in song and realizing at the end of the day, song is just sustained monologue. Exactly. Exactly. And I love I always thought, you know, like I think that one thing I'm great at is acting through song, but then the second the music was gone, I, I got well I think it's how we <laughs> like artists, right? It's like you do musical theater, like, oh, you can't act. But then when it comes to the monologue, it's like I have to pretend to be dramatic. Yeah. It's like actually all one and the same. <laughs> but good it, for you. Exactly. So young to be surrounded by so many amazing mentors and teachers, the best of Broadway, you know. <laughs> The fact that you were surrounded by these fierce women between your grandmother, your mom, living in New York City. I just, um, you know, uh, I think about the roles to kind of jump in before you even answer the question. You know, I could see you playing so many roles of all different disciplines within both the musical and legit theater. On top of that, though, as, I'm, as you're talking, I'm like, Sophie's role is going to be the one that's written for her. That's my gut. That's my gut. Because. <laughs> that's my dream. That truly is my Is dream. it really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I want to give to, to be able to originate a role and, and read the words on a paper and hear the music, but then it, you know, it, it bring myself to it and bring the character to it. And I, I, I can't even, imagine what it would be like but I know it's what I want to do well it's going to happen for you just trust me <laughs> if I have anything to do with it it will happen um but Sophie Smith Brody you are an incredible talent before I ask my final question I want to let everyone yeah. know for more on the amazing Sophie you can read more about her right below this video Sophie um what are you most looking forward to as the world slowly but surely starts to open up as an artist as a human what are you optimistic about people um, I, I've always been a very outgoing, personable person. I was an only child, um, so I always wanted to be surrounded by others. Um, I, I've never really cared for alone time, um, and I've had a lot of it over the past two years, as we all have. Um, and just, you know, people's faces, me meeting people for the first time, um, getting to make connections and hear people's stories and learn where they're from and what their parents did and what they want to do and not having the immediate fear of meeting this person may be a threat to me and my family and the rest of the world. I am optimistic that soon will not be, maybe not soon, but one day will not be a problem as it is right now and I cannot wait for that day. Sophie, you're an incredible person, an incredible artist. <laughs> I'm so happy you're joining this amazing new platform, but also more so selfishly. I'm so happy <laughs> that we are now connected. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you.